Hello. Sarah Morgan. It's been, what, almost ten years? Admiral, it's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help? That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Very well. Then, as a good friend, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I understand. Mental scars left by war rarely heal quickly, if ever at all. I sympathize with your struggle, Commander. I want to put an end to the sleepless nights. The nightmares waking up in cold sweat. It's been difficult, Admiral. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to you, Slades. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia. Now, no power. 
power readouts, the diagnostic log only says it's offline. Well, what we can read. I think some of the warnings are in Cyrillic. You know, those old Russian letters. That should do us. Thank you. And this should cover the iron, and then some. We'll be heading out hopefully shortly. Any news to share? Yes, my captain. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. Had you taken the money, this would have been a very different conversation. I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. No, it certainly isn't. Especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Cassiopeia, we're finally here. If you think it will help, then feel free. Let me know if you need anything else. Yeah, take a look at this. Fine by me. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, Seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes. I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So don't worry, I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> A 
Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Very well. Next time, then. I'm anxious to find my old crash site. Come on. I wonder how many life forms are roaming this planet. Hmm, time to find out. Feels like walking into a dream. I'm okay. It's just so surreal. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes. Yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. I will, I promise. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the cruise shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go.
not exactly a textbook landing, but I didn't have much of a choice. Well, this is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? It was difficult and painful, but it kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here, rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. Sure, if we're lucky. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing.
We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Well, we're not there yet, but damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. Should I warm up the engine? Landing site locked. Take us in. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Get moving.
this view. Had I been on this planet under more... Let's do this. Keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. what's left of the cruise shuttle. But it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors?
I'll, I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go! Answers? About what? How do I know you're telling the truth? Stop it right now. Put away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. See? You're not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. That's all grown-ups do is lie. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I was wrong to get so angry. We are here to help you. And we promise to tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here? Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents? Your mom and your dad? What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberst. You're their... daughter. Listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. Yeah? Well, I wish you wouldn't have taken so long. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona. <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces, like the ones my mom and dad had, hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. That's probably good advice. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory.
times do I have to say it? I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. So no. Calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? I knew I could depend on you. Now all we have to do is convince this poor girl that she's better off leaving the planet with us. I just... I don't know if I have it in me to say the right things. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Why won't Sarah listen to me? I've been alone for a long time, and even when bad people visit, I've been safe. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? Mom told me there were really bad people out there. Worse than the ones I've already seen. But uh, leaving mom and dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. I suppose you're right. Mom and Dad always promised that I'd leave here someday. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get... Well, wherever we're going. That poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. Oh, I do hope that's true. We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known, and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the Overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go.
you. Look, before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. It's been a long journey, and I'm glad it's over. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes. Wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. Perhaps. I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? <sighs> well, I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan, and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. Let's pop into Outland while we're here, and see if Joe has anything useful to add to our arsenal. You've got the cabinet's full backing to prevent more attacks. Understand? Welcome back. Did you find your answers? Not only that, but we found someone there. Alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. 
We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? Yes, of course. I think we can all agree that this was another unfortunate circumstance of the Colony War. What you'd call an unfortunate circumstance, I call a tragedy. You're absolutely right, Sarah. It is a tragedy. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. at this place. It's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. I guess we need to talk. There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Yeah, it was. I guess I'll have to be brave. You're already one of the bravest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillionaire, Sarah. <laughs> Oh, don't I wish? This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa! Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? Exactly. And this is the perfect place to begin your education. I understand. Oh, and don't worry. I learn real fast. So you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well, I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects.
look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. I know things probably would have gone a lot smoother if I'd just listened to you in the first place. Which is why we really need to talk about our friendship and how I've been treating you. Just let me have another moment here and then we can head over to the waterfall so we can talk in private. Let's go. Captain, the Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like you got When things at the Lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other, but this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I knew you'd appreciate it. 
I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was hoping we could talk about something very important. Good, because I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Don't get me wrong. Compared to Sona, I've had it easy. I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Right now? Are you talking about Constellation? Or what exactly are you saying? Sorry, I, um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. I can't imagine being in love with anyone else. So, if you're willing to make the leap, I'm ready to do the same. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> And with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. <laughs>